here at the main entrance of the Memorial Tournament and uh, we're by the driving range and then you see this beautiful scoreboard behind us and uh, this is kind of an old style way to look at scores and keep track of your favorite players. Paul, how many years have you been doing this? Here at the Memorial, I think five or six. And this is kind of a dying breed on the tour, these old style scoreboards, yes, is that right? Yes, it is. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, it, there's cutbacks and things like that and, and with digital and things like that, people with iPhones now and computers and such that this is more of a traditional way that's been done for years. So, now How does it work? How do you get the scores and how often do you put them up? What happens is I get scores after nine holes. I have a, a 10 back here with a computer that prints out the scores and I manually come up and add, put the scores up after nine holes and then I'll get the copy of, of the back nine, front nine, whatever, and then put the, put the other nine up and then total it and then put it on the summary board. So I do it all by hand and I'll write approximately 10,000 numbers this week. Wow. And do you, find, do you find the people kind of as the day goes uh, or when congregate. they're leaving congregate? Oh, absolutely. And, uh -huh. absolutely. Because again, this is the only area in the golf course that you can actually see every player listed in their scores. Uh, you'll have your, you have your electronic leaderboards out there that show maybe the top 10, 15 to 20. Uh, but if you wanted to find out uh, Eric Compton's score that's not on the leaderboard, it's right here. Uh -huh. And it's all listed alphabetically, and it's listed also how they stand with the rest of the people. 